What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Michael here and welcome back to Fudge Muppet. Today I'm going to talk about whether or not the ghoulish perk in Fallout 4 can be made powerful and uh, what is the best ghoulish setup. So as many of you know in the Nuke World DLC, Ghoulish actually got a 4th rank. Now Rad Damage will begin to slowly heal, restoring health in the process. Now this is a fairly useful rank, it sort of makes Ghoulish not shit. As many of you know, we don't like the Ghoulish perk, it's not very good. But there is one way it can be helpful, and that is through using the Salvaged Assaultron Head, which is a unique weapon added in the Automatron DLC. Now this irradiates the shooter by 50 rads when you shoot it, but uh, this doesn't take rad resistant into account. When you get all the ranks of that, it'll only irradiate you by about 27 rads. So pretty much the first thing to say is that the fourth rank of Ghoulish doesn't really help with this. It's more simply the fact that when you use the Salvaged Assaultron Head, you can actually heal yourself. Now if you have too much radiation, it's not the most useful thing, but if you have low health, you can just start shooting this gun and your health will actually slowly come back. So it's pretty cool in that way and it is the best ghoulish setup. And you can see us using this in the video. Now in my opinion though, you may as well just spec into something like Medic. It's going to heal you faster. You can use right away to get rid of radiation too. And stim packs and right away are really common. So pretty much this is only good if you want to make a kind of rad man build who uses the salvaged Assaultron head as a main weapon. Happen. Now many people say that getting rad resistant and ghoulish is counterproductive and in some ways they are right but in my opinion you get more shots out of the gun if you have rad resistance because it causes you less damage. So if I were to do a build that uses this I would actually get both rad resistant and ghoulish and then you know as you can see it still does heal you quite a bit. And that is pretty much it. So can ghoulish be made powerful? I mean, sure, if you're using the powerful Salvaged Assaultron head, although that is outperformed by a laser musket, but this is still, without a doubt, the best ghoulish setup. If somehow you know of a better ghoulish setup, let us know, but we think this is the best one. Ghoulish just isn't the most crazy good perk to get. Unless, of course, as I said, you're going to use this gun and you're going to take advantage of this little tip. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you've got a big tip, please click the like button. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe because we have a whole lot more coming soon. It's been Michael with another Fallout 4 video and I look forward to nerding out with you again very soon.